Hello everyone, I have another knife for, for you from my collection. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the uh, Spyderco T-Mag. A very uh, cool and interesting knife that I picked up uh, about a month ago or so. Um, first, a couple specs on the knife. Uh, overall length is 7 inches. Uh, closed length, 4 and 1 8. Uh, the spider, spidey hole diameter is half inch. Uh, blade length is two, almost, well, two and fifteen sixteenths, so almost three inches. Um, and then the uh, blade steel is CMP S30V and handle material is carbon fiber. So, some awesome uh, materials, awesome steel. Oh, the liners here are uh, titanium as well, so awesome liners. A uh, cool thing about this knife is I got it for 50 bucks. Um, Spyderco on their website uh, had it for 250, and they had a uh, sale. It's now discontinued. Uh, they no longer make this, and I got this for 50 bucks, down from 250. So uh, I was really excited about this. Um, a lot of the cool thing about this knife, let me get to that, is that it is uh, held open by a magnet, a rare earth magnet to be exact, uh, and it acts as a slip joint. So if I open it up, you know, it stays open, um, but just like a slip joint, I can push it down without doing anything, and it closes. Um, Spyderco got a lot of uh, crap about this because um, it's not their normal lock back or liner locker, and um, not too many people liked it. Why, I don't know. Um, if you think of it as a, sim a simple slip joint, which it basically is, uh, it's a great knife. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, it is not meant for a tactical purpose or as a working knife or anything, like, anything of that. It's, in my opinion, a almost a gentleman's knife. Uh, you know, very simple tasks, take it to work, um, but nothing serious. And if you leave it at that, uh, it's a perfect knife. So, after that little ramble, um, it is carbon fiber here, um, and it weighs only 2.8 ounces, and I almost think it weighs less than that, because I can hardly tell that it's in my pocket whenever I, uh, whenever I carry it. It is incredibly light, the carbon fiber, titanium, uh, liners, it, there's nothing there. Um, let's see, it has a wire pocket clip back here, which I love, um, nice and secure, um, let's see. When it's open, see it has a nice little upswept blade. Love it. Um, one of the things, if you use this knife properly, um, it's not going to close on you, um, in my opinion. It has jimping on the liners here that stick out a little bit, jimping on the bottom of the blade, uh, as well as on the top ramp here for your thumb. So, if you hold it like this with your finger in the finger choil, uh, even if it were to uh, get pushed down, that jimping is going to grip your finger and not really let it uh, go anywhere. So, it kind of has a failsafe to it. But then again, you don't want to be using this knife for uh, any hard tasks. So. But uh, overall, I think it's an awesome knife. Very unique, very cool. Uh, simple design. And I think it's very aesthetically pleasing. I love the look of it. And uh, it comes out nice and fast. There's no resistance in, that, in opening it. And once again, as from Spyderco, it's sharp as can be. I haven't had to touch it up. Has a little signature on the blade to the guy who made it. Ralph Turnbull. So, overall great knife, uh, awesome gentleman's folder, uh, but nothing for, uh, for too hard of a task. So, that's the Spyderco T-Mag.